Good morning. What is up, YouTube? Happy Thursday and welcome back to the My Crypto Journey live stream here for coffee and crypto on a fantastic Thursday day down here in Southern California. But a cold day, dude, it's been freezing down here. Like I'm actually freezing. Like I'm wearing like a big socks, like sweat shorts, this big ass sweater, and I'm still cold. Do me a favor, smash that like button for each like I get a little warm. And guys, cryptocurrency is absolutely sending. Now, check out the poll of the day. Do you think crypto sends or dumps over the next month? Let me know what you think. It's been absolutely insane. Bitcoin has achieved $25,000. It's kind of bumping, uh, dirtling. You see right here, 24982. But Bitcoin is absolutely sending. We're having the cryptocurrency market send. And this is off of pretty bad news. Is this a bear market rally? Interesting, interesting. We're going to see, but uh, you know, we're going to watch a video from our main man in Clear Value Tax, and it makes so much sense, but we'll see what happens. Now, here's the thing. Crypto can keep pumping if it decouples from the traditional stock market, but will it, right? Will it? We'll have to see. It's getting out of control. It's getting insane. Nothing's making sense anymore. I don't know what's going on. Where's my dad? You know what I mean? Where's my father? Who knows? Still out getting milk, baby. Do me a favor, smash that like button. It's good to see you all in the chat today. A little bit of crypto hysteria, a little bit of crypto mania going on, which we love to see. Shout out to my sponsors, of course, Volt Inu, Pomeranian, and Cookies Protocol. Link to everything is in the description down below. We'll be covering Volt a little bit today because the meme coin fever is back, and we got to absolutely send it. We have to absolutely send it, right? Uh, I love the meme coin vibes. Volt has been going absolutely crazy, making a lot of people a lot of money. And it does have the potential to do the things that other big meme coins have done before. And yes, Charlie Munger is absolutely insane. He's not insane. He's a smart old guy, but I don't know. He's kind of a boomer, right? Uh, he doesn't understand cryptocurrency and there's no way it's going away. You know, there's no way it's going away. Thank you so much, Renaissance Connects. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. And of course, if you're new to the channel, we will put timestamps in the description down below. I was a little late on them yesterday, but we spend the first five minutes talking to the chat. And guys, I will be going live at 9 a.m. over on Jake Gagan's channel for the crypto hour with the boy sending it. So do me a favor, smash the like button and let's say what's up to the chat because you guys are chatty this morning. What is up, Javi? How you doing, baby? Welcome, welcome. Yes, smash that like on your way in. Slim Jesus. What's up, baby? Mizzy Matt. How you doing? What's up, Jay Hawk? Good seeing the boys last night over at, on my uh, dating and relationships channel. What's up, Matthew? Good morning. Good morning. Bobby, good morning. Renaissance. We have Jedi. What's up, uh, Roger? How you doing, baby? What's up, Brad? How you doing, baby? Sackle Hunt. Somebody speak to my manager. Somebody get my manager. What's up, Mike? Good morning. Good morning. Bud. I already said Slim Cheese is right. Let's see. Andrew. What's up, baby? Ben. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I funked her first. What's up, baby? How you doing? What's up, Gabe? What's up? What's up? What's up, Jason? How you doing? Good morning, Tennessee. What's up, baby? You're the only 10 I see. Ooh. Um, let's see. Crypto high. What's going on? When you say crypto high, you mean like high, high or like high on life? Patrick, how you doing, baby? Jeremy, good morning. Good morning. Love to see all those new subs. Let me do something real quick. Make sure I can pull up people who celebrate like, you know, like they, they, they're, um, their monthly memberships. And stuff like that, because I can't see that on StreamYard, but I can see it in YouTube Studio. Like StreamYard's good for some things. YouTube Studio is better for those other things. Let me go to viewer activity. So just in case you guys have some sort of celebra celebration, I can honor it. What's up, Joan Karu? John, how you doing? El Sparito. Oh, wait. El Paracito. El Paracito. Doobie Tur. <laughs> Doobie Tur. It's time to panic by. Speaking of Hinock, I'm supposed to have a uh, an interview with him today, but I think he had to reschedule. So shout out to Hinock. You know, look, I I, I be roasting Hinock, but it's it's all love, dude. It's all love. He's still hustling and stuff like that. Always working, man. Getting that work, Brad. We love a working man here, guys. Let me know what do you think is going to happen with cryptocurrency. I mean, it's been going absolutely insane. We'll get to the we'll get to the news here soon, right? But the Bitcoin snatching that 25k mark right now, baby. Honestly, I'm considering selling, you know, uh, <laughs> a lot of my crypto right now because, I, but that's not because I dollar cost averaging a lot. There's a lot of things I dollar cost averaging, and I'm I have a pretty decent um, average for a lot of my crypto. Is that smart? I don't know. You know, I think I'm what I'm going to do is I have a lot of like small cap plays, and I'm going to really um, I'm going to eat a lot of those today, 
and then I'm going to put those into some blue chips when the next dump comes. Am I, am I going to be right? Am I going to be wrong? I don't know, but I'm going to do something I haven't done before. Let's see if I'm right. Because I have like a lot of money in places that I want in other places. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But it's looking good, man. Everybody's portfolio is looking a little good, especially if you've been dollar cost averaging. And yes, how Lou crypto has been absolutely, it's been confusing. Nothing makes sense. But nothing in this economy makes sense. Nothing makes sense. Inflation's too damn high, right? Crazy. You think higher lows? We'll have to see. What's up, Tracy? Tracy G here? Trace, Tracy? I didn't see Tracy. Where's Tracy at? I have not seen Tracy unless I missed her. Uh, it takes a lot of uh, a lot of ice to resist gains, especially after such a long dip. I know, I know, I know, I know. It does. It's tough. It's tough. Your portfolio is down only a little bit. Yeah. I mean, look at, you know, Bitcoin. How long was Bitcoin at this price? What was it like? It was hovering around literally 20K. You know, then we had what? Yeah, since November, pretty much till what? Like uh, last month, you know, we had like, like a good two months to, you know, get in at $16,000, you know, and then over what? We had a nice little pump mid uh, January, and really it's been slowly uh, inclining since. We had a little bit of a dip here, right? And this is off the crazy news we had with the SEC, Paxos, all that BS. All right. So we'll see what's going on. Did y'all see? What's up, D- what's up, DNA? How you doing, baby? Good to see you, bro. <laughs> is it a bull run? I can't believe it's a bull run. I don't think it's a bull run. I, do, who do I know? I'm a dumb YouTuber, right? But it doesn't seem like it's a, it's a bull run. It makes no sense. I think the next FOMC meeting is going to be brutal. I think that all the next, I think the next FOMC meeting is going to be brutal because what, what happened is that we're having some key um, metrics when it comes to inflation send, and we're not supposed to have that. And inflation, you did the 12 month. Oh, shout out to Tracy G celebrating her 12 months over on the channel. You got the ETH symbol next to your name. I could see it on the YouTube dashboard, or excuse me, the YouTube dashboard, but I can't see it on the uh, dashboard over. Um, on streamer. Thank you so much, Tracy G, for being here for 12 months. Look at that ETH symbol next to your name. You have transcended above all the eggplants. <laughs> all right, let's get into the news here. Let's get into the news because there's some good news. Not a ton of stuff going on, but we got our old man, Charlie, talking trash. Char- Charlie, what are you doing? What is you doing? Charlie, of course, vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. Very, very successful man. Billionaire investor. This guy has done it all. He's been alive. How long has this guy been alive? He's 99 years old, still talking trash, right? And of course, I don't know what these guys do to live that long, but probably living a healthy lifestyle, which is kind of weird because who, who, um, who's the, uh, I can't forget, I forget, I forget his name, but he's like McDonald's every day, right? He's one of the other billionaires, right? The invest, the investor, the investment king who also hates cryptocurrency, right? Um, I don't know what these guys are doing to stay alive this long. Maybe they're, they're, they're eating, uh, they're, they're, they're like, uh, you guys ever watch Mortal Kombat, like Shang Tsung taking souls? I don't know. All right, but uh, this guy's still living and still talking. Apparently, the last thing to go when you're this old is shit talking, right? Because this guy is still hating on crypto. Now, the funny thing is that a few weeks ago, uh, he was talking about how, uh, you know, we should just ban crypto, like get rid of it. You know, who cares about crypto? Ban it, baby. I mean, you look up, you look him up and you look crypto on the same uh, sentence. You could see that he says crypto, uh, crypto is bad for, is a bad combination is a bad combo of fraud and what else? And delusion, which is, which is, I mean, he's not wrong, right? Let, let's be honest here. When it comes to some of these people hating on cryptocurrency, they have a real, right? They have a real um, argument. Obviously, they have a real argument, right? Of course they do. Um, because, you know, crypto, we've been, in, we've been in the thick of a lot of scams. And of course, that's another story. Our, we have another update with SBF and who actually posted his bail. You know, but he said this today I and mean, he's still talking trash, right? Of course, when there's nothing really to talk about, he, you know what I mean? Um, people talk, they focus on these sort of things. Now, here's the thing. Charlie says, I'm not proud of my country for allowing crypto shit. That's very interesting, right? It's like, wow. Okay. What's up, Voltronics? How you doing? Volt fam in the house. Uh, legendary investor Charlie Munger pulled no punches when it came to his, uh, to offering his latest anti-crypto views on Wednesday. In Munger's view... Traditional currencies have helped tr- uh, turn man from successful ape to a successful man, he said during the Daily Journal shareholder meeting in Los Angeles on Wednesday. Uh, Munger uh, said claims cryptocurrency can replace national currencies are a equivalent of saying that uh, air can be replaced. So pretty much what he's saying is that 
if you think traditional cryptocurrencies can replace or cryptocurrencies can replace tri traditional currencies, that's like replacing air. That's the dumbest analogy. I know this man's a smart investor, but wasn't that a dumbest analogy? Right? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Crazy, right? Um, because not all cryptocurrencies are the same, right? They're just not. I mean, we have Bitcoin, which is a store of value, which is a true cryptocurrency, right? Which could replace traditional currencies. And then we have like other cryptocurrencies that are obviously securities. Gary, if you're watching this, I mean, I got I got I got to support you a little bit, Gary. You little nerd. Gary's a little nerd. I'm going to stuff that guy in a locker. You know what I mean? But <laughs> I feel like Gary Munger just just dissing on us, man. We got what do you want to do about that? You know what I mean? These guys are just dissing on us. But, you know, it, that's kind of a dumb analogy, right? Replacing air. That's so stupid, right? It says he continues uh, it isn't even slightly stupid. It's massively stupid. And of course, very it's very dangerous. And of course, the governments were totally wrong to permit it. Munger told CNBC's Becky Quick during the live stream of the event. He says, and of course, I am not proud of my country for allowing this crap. Well, I call it crypto shit. It's worthless. It's crazy. It's not good. It'll do nothing but harm. It's uh, antisocial to allow. It's antisocial to allow. What the hell does that even mean? <laughs> what? M M Munger's about to catch these hands, bro. Just kidding. Um, you know, I can respect any man like that spends their life like absolutely killing it. Right. But this is stupid. Right. It, just because you're good at one thing doesn't make you the the knower and, uh, you know, dawn of all things. Right. Just because you're good at this doesn't mean, you know, everything there is to know about crypto. Crypto will run again. Right. Crypto will be here long after this guy's gone. Right. Um, But this is kind of bars. Right. He's kind of just he's kind of just dunking on crypto right here. He says, I think the people that oppose my uh, positions are idiots. <laughs> The 90-year-old, 99-year-old Munger said when asked about his recent op-ed in the Wall Street Journal, calling for a ban on the asset class. And so I don't think there is a rational argument against my position. He continues, Munger, who has drawn criticism for praising the Chinese government in the past, said the nation's leaders were allowed, were right not to allow cryptocurrency. The People's Bank of China banned all cryptocurrency transactions in September 2021. So if you guys don't know, um, you know, one of the big like catalysts for the last uh, cryptocurrency uh, FUD dump was the fact that China banned all cryptocurrencies. And then, you know, it pumped again and then actually fully dumped. Um, and people were like, oh, so you're a communist now. And that's ridiculous, right? Because he's not praising. He's not like some commie. He's just saying that, hey, man, they did a good job banning it and he thinks it should be banned, right? So I think this is a stretch when people say these sorts of things, right? But we have our man Warren Buffett, Mr. I eat McDonald's every day. And we have Charlie. How come this man can eat McDonald's every day and drink a Coke and stay alive? My ass eats, you know, some McDonald's every day and I gain like 50 pounds. You know what I mean? What's up with that? You know what I mean? What's up, making true money? What's up, Chrissy? How you doing, baby? What's up, Crypto King? DB2, Marcus? I bet he said the same thing when the internet and cell phones came out. Stupid cell phones. Nah, I, I doubt it. Th those are true innovations. Here's the thing. It's crypto is, it's, there's so many scams in crypto and it makes sense. Like if you don't know what to do and what to look at and what to avoid, and even if you think you do, like if you bought FTX, right, we're getting absolutely wrecked. But this is why Bitcoin maxis have a great point, right? This is why Bitcoin maximalists, people that say everything else is not crypto, Bitcoin is the only crypto. This is why they have a point, right? They have a point because, you know, Bitcoin's not going to do, Bitcoin, there's no, there's no leader. There's no person to report to. There's no person to write to. It's like, yeah, it's just there. It exists, right? There's no C the CEO. What's crazy, it's, what's crazy is like when you let people get the power to things, like they find a way to fuck it up, right? They'll find a way to do something shady. They'll find a way to scam people. They'll find a way to, you know, people's, we're, we're humans. We cannot resist temptation, right? We cannot resist power, urges, right? Sexual temptation. Shout out to, uh, you know, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, leader of the free world. Couldn't resist a blowjob from his secretary, right? Or whoever she is. Couldn't resist some dome, right? Some head. Could not. You know, we're humans. We're, we're flawed, you know? That's why it's, I think it's always hilarious when people expose politicians for saying some real human shit, like Donald Trump saying, grab her by the pee. It's like, dude, have you been in a man's locker room? You know? Have you heard, like, chicks talk, like, girl talk about guys? It's like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Don't be hating on my man, Tom Brady, Christy. Brady already tired of the single life. You don't know what's going on in Brady's life. Brady, Brady has a different model at his place every night. He probably has three models, one for each ball and one for the you know what. Come on, now, don't be hating on Tom Brady. Um, but, you know, I mean, 
these guys are very, very smart. They're not in their position because they're dumb, but it doesn't mean that they're right about everything, right? But they're very, very smart guys. I take uh, what they say into account. And I think it's important to, even if you don't like these guys, to understand where they're coming from, right? Because it's so important. And, you know, one of one of uh, Warren Buffett's like quotes, uh, you know, roughly saying that, hey, man, when the tide goes away, you f- you find out who's been swimming naked. And that's been the whole deal with cryptocurrency the last year. When the money came out of the market, we found out which cryptocurrency companies were offering too much yield, right? We're doing shady shit with your money. When it came time for people actually wanted to withdraw their money from their exchanges or their protocols, they didn't have the money to service them because the market was dumping, right? We found out who was swimming naked. And a lot of cryptocurrency projects were swimming uh, swimming naked and doing a lot of shady things. And the crazy thing is we're having the same people build more cryptocurrency projects and they're going to keep doing it, right? Because this is an industry that you can keep doing that in, right? This is a problem that I saw from the beginning and I looked at a little sideways like, oh, yeah, I mean, you know, what, one of the biggest revelations for me was seeing a guy who was responsible for the biggest collapse in like Canadian history in the Quadriga Exchange. They made a Netflix documentary about it. Seeing this guy move to like 10 different scams and still not be in jail. Like that's like, you know what I mean? So it makes sense. It makes sense. So pretty much Munger is saying, I am disappointed in you, America. I am disappointed in you guys. You know what I mean? Makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. I'm not mad. <laughs> yeah, I, and a Chinese... <coughs> That's hilarious. Chinese spy balloon on me taking a shit on the toilet. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Matic to the moon, baby. Let's go. Renaissance Kinetic says, uh, Roddy, as far as we know, Bitcoin Anonymous creator, I find that very uh, hard to believe. I think the elites are sitting behind the Bitcoin. That'd be crazy, right? Like, who created Bitcoin, right? Who was he? Uh, Edgar, r- chill out, right? <laughs> uh, absolutely, Psycho. I'll get you a Mononoke Inu uh, logo for the membership. <clears throat> I wish you could pick your memberships, but they're they're assigned on time. That'd be cool if you could pick your membership. Maybe I'll, I'll make an emoji. That's absolutely hilarious. I think Mononoke finally just rugged completely. All right. All right. Let's move on to the next story, right? And uh, shout out to Charlie Munger. You know, he's mad. Oh, yeah. Why are oh, yeah, y'all Damn kids and your damn Bitcoin. You know what I mean? All right. Next, we have to talk about. Okay. So when SBF uh, was bailed out, right? Somebody posted 20, at least $25 million for SBF, Sam Bankman Freed, Orgy, Adderall Extraordinaire. I'm not saying those are not, those both are not fun activities, right? I'm not saying that that's not the case, but what I'm saying is, Sam Bankman Free was wild and out. Now, yesterday we just found out that the court said that, hey, man, you cannot use a VPN. My question is, why the hell is this guy even allowed to go anywhere near a computer? He's already been in trouble for, quote unquote, contacting X- FTX employees, right? You, you think this guy is, you think he's not using another computer in his house? Are they just monitoring, monitoring his entire house? Like, what are they doing? And a lot of people were shocked when this guy posted bail because they set his bail high, $250 million. And we're like, yeah, there's, there's no way. I mean, he's Sam Bankman fried right? He's a, a billionaire at one point. But he told us he only had a little bit of money left to his name. Now, we found out that he had millions of dollars to his name. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, there were, <clears throat> there were two anonymous people, right? There were two anonymous people who posted the bail for him, right? At least $25 million. A lot of people thought it was Kevin O'Leary. A lot of people thought it was a lot of people. But it turns out they were just family friends. Regular, not regular ass dudes. Check this out. So Sam Bakeman freed. Bail backers revealed as Stanford's Larry Kramer and Andreas uh, Pepic. What the heck? Pepic? Pepe. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. When it comes to these guys, you know, you know, bailing him out, because, you know, a judge said that we had the right to know as the public to who bailed him out. Like, we have a right to know. They wanted to keep it anonymous because obviously these guys are probably going to get harassed, right? Obviously now. Of course they're going to get harassed, right? Of course they are. You know, because a lot of people feel like this guy should not be out. And I don't know why this video is playing in the background. It's like about a DUI. Don't be watching that. Jeez. Um, you know, it's a lot of people are going to be threatening these guys because a lot of people feel like SPF shouldn't have got uh, bailed out. A lot of people feel like he should be in jail for it, in jail with no even opportunity to get out. Right. 
because of the, the damage he's caused to a lot of investors. Now, since then, we we may think that uh, investors um we may think that um investors may be getting all their money back. It seems that uh, uh freaking John Ray, the new CEO of FTX, was able to recover a lot of funds. So we'll see what happens, right? But these guys bailed them out. Whatever. Okay. So let's check this out. So it says two Stanford University employees were revealed Wednesday as the previously unidentified co-signers of disgraced FTX founder Sam Bankman frieds record $250 million bail package. Record, right? Record. You know, you have to understand that, you know, the government wants some of that money, right? The state wants some of that money. So unsealed court documents named the guarantors as Larry Kramer, the dean uh, uh, emeritus at, uh, of Stanford Law School. So this guy was the former dean, right? So big deal. Of course, he's a millionaire. And Andreas Papk, a senior uh, research scientist and computer science expert at the elite institution. So they both work there, and these guys are absolutely killing it, obviously. It says, Bagman Fried's family has deep ties to Stanford, where his parents are law professors, right? So, of course, they knew these people. Kramer is a close friend of the accused crypto fraudster's parents, Joe, uh, Joseph Bagman and Barbara Fried. Bagman Fried was born on Stanford's campus. Interesting, I didn't know that. Uh, Pep's connection to the family was not immediately clear. So check this out. Um, some of these stories are pretty interesting because it feels like, you know, the the, the Bankman Freed family had their backs in the past and they're just returning the favor. So it says Kramer, who was the dean of the law school from 2005 to 2012, signed a $500,000 bond on Sam Bankman Freed's behalf. Well, Pep signed a $200,000 bond. Wait, wait, what? Both bonds represent the money. Uh, the amount of money that Kramer and Pep would owe if Bankman Free does not return to court as mandated. Wait, that's not even wait, that's not even even close to the amount that he should have paid. Wait, 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 wait. Am I missing something? Am I missing something? Okay, okay. What? Wait. So 10% of $250 million is $25 million. Sorry, I went to public school. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So his parents posted their house as collateral. This this is not adding up. This is wait, what? Two hundred thousand dollars. This is not adding up. This is not adding up. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let's continue this. I didn't read this part. I skimmed through that part. It says, in in a statement, Kramer said he and his wife have been close friends with Bakeman Freed since the mid nineteen nineties. And this is uh, Larry Kramer, right? <clears throat> he says during the two year, uh, during the past two years, Walmart. Then this is the reason why Kramer right? Help the family out. He says, during the past two years, while my family faced a harrowing battle with cancer, they have been the truest of friends, bringing food, providing moral support, and uh, frequently stepping in at a moment's notice to help, Kramer said. So, obviously, their family is facing cancer. <clears throat> and the the, the uh, Bankman Freed family were helping them out. So, that's why they're returning the favor, right? Uh, it says, quote, in turn, we have sought to support them as they face their own crisis, Kramer added. My actions are in my personal capacity, and I have no business dealings or interest in this matter other than to help our loyal and steadfast friends. Nor do I have any other comment or uh, position regarding the substance of the legal matter itself, which is what the trial will be for. Now, here's my thing. When these guys donated a lot of their money, I'm sure it's a lot of their savings or a, a substantial amount or who knows, right? And they saw the article of Sam Bickman Free had like $50 million seized in a random bank. It's like, you know what I mean? They're going to get paid back, right? It says, the identities of a Bankman Freed's co-signers have been subject of rampant speculation. Bankman Freed's attorney initially signaled that they would appeal a district judge, Lewis Kaplan's decision to unseal the names, right? So, of course, they, wanna, they, they didn't want them to be known because these guys are going to get in trouble or threatened, right, by the, by the community. And people are going to be wondering, uh, that's not even close to the amount, right? That's not even close to the amount of um, what should have got Sam Bakeman freed off the hook. Um, let me see. It says, a cap and order the records unsealed after nothing but that Bankman Freed's legal team had made no application for for a further stay. Bankman Freed has been under house arrest since his parents secured his release by putting up their home as collateral. On, dude, there's no way their home is worth anything. You know? No way. It's bond, but they have to make 10% of it, right? It has to be at least 10% altogether. And they, their house was at most $4 million. Something's not added up. Says he faces eight federal charges and up to 115 years in prison. What do you guys think he's gonna actually get? 115 years in prison uh, for allegedly 
Bilking FTX customer, bilking FTX customers uh, out of billions of dollars that ne have never seen that word used this way in a sentence. Uh, money that he allegedly used to fund a lavish lifestyle and prop up risky bets at his cryptocurrency hedge fund. Almeida Research. Interesting, interesting. What do you guys think? It adds up if you factor the ten thousand percent yield of how dumb you are, people. He knew. <laughs> Rodney, so his family put up their house and other assets, plus uh, those two people were, yeah, but what other assets? So four million right there for the house, and then another, we'll, we'll be generous, another million, that's five. Where's the other 20 million coming from? Right? I don't know, am I, am I missing something? Are we missing like 20, are we missing like, you know, 20 million dollars here? Crazy. Yeah, they're only on the hook for that, Chris E, if he dips, right? They're only on the hook for that if he dips. <clears throat> Chris says threatening who I wish I was as rich. No, no, they're not going to show up. I mean, they might show up to their house, right? We've seen people show up to Do Kwan's house and we've seen people harass SBS parents, but um, people online are going to be harassing them, right? They're probably going to get letters to their work and all kind of cr crazy stuff. If it's not adding up, go to the judge and ask why he accepted it. Yeah, let me just go to the judge and be like, hey, man, I'm, I'm Rodney from my crypto journey. What's going on? But this, here's the thing. Um, th this is going to get some uh, a little bit of outrage, and people are going to be like, hey, man, this is not adding up. Where's the rest of the money? Where's the money, Lebowski? Where's the money? Interesting, interesting. Maybe that's why it was released, because a lot of people were like, uh, maybe the judge was like, yeah, where did he get the rest of this money from, right? You know, interesting. What's up, Professor? How you doing, baby? Welcome, welcome. Um, so uh, speaking of Shibari, we could do a little a uh, Shib break here because I do want to talk about Shiba Inu. Okay, so we'll go to Shiba Inu real quick because that's actually been heating up. Now I don't know, guys. Shiba Inu has been kind of disappointing lately. Right? For being honest, Shiba Inu has been pretty disappointing, right? Uh, Shib has been pretty disappointing, in my opinion. But apparently, Shibarium is coming very, very soon. And the reason why it's not coming is because one of the developers is sick or something like that, which may be bullshit. I don't know. You know, I don't know. But it's very, very interesting, right? <gasps> Excuse me. I mean, what do you guys think? What's up with, uh, what's up with, uh, you know, what's up with Shib? Uh, we had the Houdini swap people in here. Of course we do. Also, a, a bonds company can help with part of someone's bail, but with $20 million, I need to know. I need to know where that money's at. Where's the money, Lebowski? Where's the money? <laughs> Where's the money, Lebowski? Let's see if crypto is, is still sending. The Bitcoin cooling off a little bit, but still hovering around the 25K mark. Jeez. Uh, but Shib, man, you know, Shibarium is supposed to be coming. Now, what makes me think that this may be a little... Um, more like bullish, you could say, or maybe happening a little sooner. It's just because we we recently heard Ledger say they would support Shibarium, right? And they weren't saying that the last year or so when it was supposed to be. Let me tell you, like my first real step into DeFi, like really, Shibarium was supposed to be coming out. So for the entirety of me being on YouTube, Shibarium was supposed to be coming out, right? It was Shibarium coming out and it, it being listed on Robinhood, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly, Matthew. And that's the thing about crypto, right? So we saw the same thing with Hex, right? Hex is supposed, Pulse Chain and Pulse, Pulse Sex is supposed to have been out for a while. But it turns out the people that are actually developing it, like shit happens in crypto. So what happens when you overpromise and underdeliver? Like people get all mad, they get frustrated like me and they get salty and they start fudding. You know what I mean? They, they can't help the fudding, you know? And uh, the interesting thing is it's like you have these, these uh, the, the uh, influencers are and people that run these projects talking to the public, not really knowing the technology that goes into it. But the the issue is the team keeps giving dates soon, 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 you know? It's like, don't say anything, just drop it, you know? Don't say anything, just drop it. Like, Richard Hart was saying that, it, you know, PulseX was going to be here before ETH 2.0. And ETH 2.0 got here in September, and we still have no PulseX, right? So, <clears throat> interesting. I know Professor Crypto is the top holder of Houdini Swap. I know what's going on here. <laughs> Shibarium is the next Uniswap? Ooh, you think so? You think a little layer two? Well, I mean, uh, sh sh uh, you know, it'd, it'd be a, uh, what do they call it? Sh what do they call it? Ship mask? Something? What are they, uh, Shiba swap would be the next uh, unit swap, right? Uh, and, you know, Shibarium's a layer two, right? Uh, just like Polygon, right? So 
It'd be a layer two. But I mean, people would want to have to buy their tokens, right? The, the thing about Sh uh, Shiba Swap is that they'd have to make it exclusive to. Um... Uh, wait, is I think is is Bone uh, exclusive to Shiba Swap? Is it? It might be, right? If that's if that's the case, then that's good because in order for them to make uh, Shiba Swap a thing, they need to make it exclusive to Shiba Swap. I think it might be. Let's see. Um... No, it's on Uniswap. They have it available. Yeah, they should make this uh, exclusive to Shiba Swap. 100%. Yeah, they should make this uh, uh, exclusive to Shiba Swap. So it, it incentivizes people to make it, um, to use it, uh, Shiba Swap. Because here's the thing we've seen multiple, uh, you know, layer twos come out and layer ones. And it's like, you know, no one wants to use it because everyone trusts Ethereum blockchain right now. You know what I mean? That's the thing. Okay, they need Shiba Swap 2.0. Okay. I know, DoobieTube, I know. Uh, Stefan says, Shitoshi says it's done. I don't know what they're waiting for. That's interesting, you know. That, 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 that's interesting, you know. Um, yeah, exactly. I mean, they say it's done. Shitoshi's been saying that, right? and they've been hinting at it coming out. But what I've been hearing is that some, some – I heard on Cryptos R Us that apparently there's some – I don't know how true that is from him, but apparently, like, uh, one of the developers is sick or something like that or some shit. WT, I know that. That's interesting. Yeah. So, but the thing is, WT, how, how can you get dark money somewhere when you're posting it? Don't they have to say, hey, where'd this money come from? Like, I'm sure they're not going to accept like a bunch of like $20 million in shady money. You know, it doesn't make any sense to me. Colt is releasing their blockchain. And I don't know much about Colt, to be honest. I know the false rule of Colt. Let's talk about it, but I don't know. Houdini swap over Shiba swap? Uh, you, don't be saying that around here, bro. Uh, Chrissy says, Shibarium ain't no next Uniswap. Shibari well, Shibarium can't be Uniswap because that's not the same thing. One's a DEX and one's a uh, layer two, right? Should barely have any high-level engineers to code something unique. People wouldn't trust it. It would be another shitcoin Uniswap skin clone. Yeah, it's, it's a fork. It's a fork, right? It's a fork of Ethereum. Just like just like uh, PulseX, I believe, is a... Uh, uh, Pulse Chain's is, uh, a fork, too. What's up, Sean? How you doing? Sean here. Sean came for the Volt community. Uh, Volt's going to send anyways. If Volt keeps doing what they're doing, they're going to send in a, in a bull market. If they just keep doing what they're doing, they're going to send in a, bull mar in a bull market. It's only a matter of time until Volt sends. And we're going to talk about Volt here probably like the last 10 minutes of the stream. But yeah, Volt is going to send no matter what, guys. It's It has the meme coin fever. If they keep doing what they're doing, they keep going. They keep uh, promoting, um, uh, keep staying active on Twitter and those sorts of things. Let me tell you. Yeah, we're going to watch that video too, Javi, very soon. Volt's going to be fine. Volt's going to be very, very fine. Terrarium, I have no clue. Okay, one of the devs' father passed away. Okay, and, Shib and Shaitoshi put Shibarium on hold out of respect for the dev. You think that's... Someone else think that's bullshit or what? Anybody think that's bullshit? <laughs> I, that's, that's mean if it's not, but I don't know. They've been delaying a lot, so it's hard to believe these guys. Yeah, it does. It does. So we'll, we'll go to the top meme coins here, and you can see that Volt's there. And that's the thing about meme coins, right? Meme coins are a big deal, right? It's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's top seven, you know? It's in a, a million-dollar market cap. We'll see what happens, right? Yeah, I mean, Doge on Mars was huge, guys. Shiba Inu, Bone, Dogecoin, were all huge. Floki was huge. Baby Dogecoin was huge. Volt's going to be huge, too. All right, meme coin fever is back, you know? Now, we're not as focused on meme coins as we were, you know, a year ago, and they are sponsoring me, but still, I mean... Dude, it's been sending, you know? It's been sending. It's been sending. If I would have bought Volt when I started promoting it at thirty at a $30 million market cap, if I would have bought like 10K, I'd be up so much. I only bought 1,000 or 2,000 because I'm very... I'm, <laughs> Luna Classic! Um, I'm very like, uh, you know, res, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very pretty much, you know, I don't... Conservative with my, my apes into... Uh, Smaller caps. And if I would have put more in it, I mean, I'd be up quite a bit, right? A little, a little 3X. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and he, he, here's the thing. Here's, here's the case for Volt, right? And, and we'll talk about this a little later. Or maybe we just talk about it now. Let's talk about it now. We're already here. 34. 30. Okay, Volt. Here's the case for Volt. <clears throat> when you look at, like, Dogecoin and SHIB, like, 
they're up here in the, in the in the league of their own. Eleven billion dollar market cap. Shiba Shiba Inu seven billion dollars. I think Shiba hit like a, 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 a all time high of uh, fifty billion. I think Shiba Inu could still ten x from here. Obviously, I think it could still twenty x maybe, depending on what goes down during the next bull run. Um, because it 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 already you know five to six seven x from here, right? It's already been up there, so that's totally possible. Um, it's totally possible, right? It can happen. Um, but the upside isn't as big as some of these other ones, even like Dogelon, even like Floki, which is at a half a billion dollar market cap. And we have Dogelon at a quarter billion dollar market cap. Um, you know, baby Dogecoin at a half a billion dollars. But we have Volt over here at a $100 million market cap. So the upside, just for this to hit a $1 billion market cap from here, is a 10x, right? Is a 10x. For this thing to hit a $100 billion market cap, Excuse me, a ten billion dollar market cap, which is totally doable. We saw Saitama hit a seven billion dollar one with no hype, with with no use case and just hype, right? So that's a hundred x or a seventy x. That's a lot. You put a thousand dollars in the Volt Inu right now, and if it does what Saitama did, it's a seventy. That's seventy thousand dollars, right? If it does that, and it has the ability to do that. I'm just looking at this objectively, right? Is Volti change some revolutionary thing that hasn't happened in the space before? No, it's a Dex. They have uh, they have a different use case and a different selling point with the whole burning both token supplies and people can say but bu burns are good and burns are bad. You could say that, you know, but they have an, an insane growth, you know, insane growth. It's crazy. We'll see what happens. And no, it's easy to talk about a meme coin when the uh, videos get pretty decent views and then, you know. Um, the money you invested in it is moving. Like you can say what you want, but it's moving. It's pumping. I mean, look at, look at the, look at the Dex tools. When all hell broke loose in the cryptocurrency market in the beginning of November, you know what I mean? What did it do? It pumped. Right now, in the midst of, and of course we've had a little bit of pump here because the, the entire market's pumping. But exactly, Dunda, I am. I'm, I'm three X up. It's pumping here. You know what I mean? And uh, you know when they first had their first three stages of the roadmap, yeah. I mean when they migrated, yeah. It's like they're doing a V two like everybody else. They have their first three stages of their of their uh, my, uh their roadmap wasn't special at all, right? But it's pumping. They're delivering. And look at if you got in when I started it, you're up three x and you took your profits. You won forever. There's no way you can lose, even with the high taxes. You won forever. So do your thing. Do your thing. Yeah, just like Tectonic, right? Tectonic. I still have a bag of Tectonic. Just like uh, um, Wagme, right? Wagme's still performing pretty well, too. Wagme's when I have a bag in. I should have took way more profit. But look at these guys, bro. <laughs> this is an emotional world. But Wagme is looking good, too. So there's a lot of money to be made out there. There's high upside. Now, for Wagme, $8 million market cap? I mean, if... If I 10x from here, I mean, Wagme has a huge potential to go absolutely crazy, but it's not the same, right? It's not the same meme uh, meme vibe. So a lot of little moon bags everywhere. Like if if Wagme does a billion dollar market cap, see ya. If Volt does a, a you know a ten billion dollar market cap, that's guava, right? If um you know who, what else? What, what other moon bags? Like Bone, like all these other moon bags. If Tectonic does that, <laughs> woo! You know what I mean? If you bought Bitcoin when you were preaching about Volt, you would be up significant. If you bought one Bitcoin, it depends how much Bitcoin. If you bought Bitcoin when I talked about Volt, which was in September, let's see where you'd be up at. Or November, right? August. No, it was after. It was, yeah, it was September. If you bought one Bitcoin, you'd be up $5,000. Don't, don't at me. The upside's way different. You wouldn't be up significantly. <laughs> I started promoting uh, Volt in, November, in uh, September. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? You would not be up significantly. You would have been down here freaking out. You know what I mean? But, you know, there's a lot of money to be made right now, guys. You just got to pick the right ones. Like, I don't know. Like, obviously, we're not experts here. But I'm, I'm reading the writing on the wall. I'm reading the community. We held a Twitter live space yesterday, me and Jake. We got pretty much 500 people in the space. Five. Hundred people and no Dranos, no one's ever gonna shill Saitama. Saitama killed himself. The thing that that Volt doesn't have that Saitama has was devs that are making like Impact XP, right? That made like Kodachi, 
some say it made Mononoke, all these other cryptocurrency projects. And we know the team was selling tokens and dumping on the community. We know for a fact that happened, right? Because the devs are docs, their wallets are docs, and those sorts of things, right? If that's happening in Volt, we haven't seen it. And Saitama's, what, down to 70x from their all-time high? And Volt's looking to hit their all-time high again. It, it's apples and oranges. It's it's cucumbers and bananas, baby. They're, it, and then Saitama's better than a meme coin. It's not the same, Dranos. It's not the same. You could come here and say that. I see your post on Twitter. It's not the same. It's not, it's not the same. It's not the same. And yes, I was dunking on Volt. Me and Pablo were going at it. But that's before they added two stages to the roadmap. And if you're going to come after me, I'm going to dunk on you. But, you know. It's all water under the bridge. Beef is squashed. And look at you don't get a Twitter live space with 500 people in there for nothing. The, the meme coin fever is here. We'll see what happens. What's okay? What's so special about Saitama? That's what what is special? They have six coins on their decks. They have six coins on their decentralized exchange. Why? They're charging you for a debit card. $200 for a debit card. When Coinbase gives you one for free when freaking Binance gives you one for free. Okay, people say, well, Saitama's decentralized. Why are they asking for your name, your email, your phone number, and your address to signing up for the Saita card? No sense. Have some sense. You got to invest in other things. When you invest all your money into one thing, you become a slave to it. Diversify. Diversify. That's the name of the game. Diversify. We're, We're past that. You know, we're past that. You know, they're still building. They're st- yeah, they're still building, but they're down bad. They're not going to reach their all time. I cannot see them going to $7 billion market cap again. It doesn't make any sense. The trust is gone. The hype is gone. Right? What do you want? Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. You know, just saying. We'll see. Hey, we- hey we'll see. We'll see. Hey, hey we'll see. So far, we've been uh, spot on, you know, except for Wagme. I mean, uh, Wagme's doing okay. I just wish I would have pulled profits way up. I remember what Wagme was. So this is the, the V2 Wagme, which Wagme did the best V2, right? They did the best V2. Like, literally, you had to do nothing. You got all your tokens. You had to do zero. Saitama, we all know how that went, right? We all know how that went. We got the vaulted people in the chat. You know what I mean? Fisa won't accept Fudney as your name, and I'm not putting my name and address on these in these side of dweebs. Absolutely, these guys just moved to Dubai. They are being investigated. You know what I mean? I've gotten phone calls from people about many people have about Saitama. Okay, so let me tell you something. Be careful, man. They're moving to Dubai. Why? Their LLC is out of the United States. Why? You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, other countries are more friendly towards crypto, but come on now, come on now. Y'all crazy as hell. Let me go ahead and put my address on this decentralized exchange. It's like, this is why decentralized exchanges don't really offer debit cards because it doesn't make any damn sense. It's decentralized. The only thing they do is a third-party system that they don't even deal with. You put your credit card information in the third-party system like MoonPay or some shit, right? You can get it on MetaMask. And that's how you, you know, that's how you deal with uh, that sort of thing. Makes no, it just, it's just ass backwards. It makes no sense. Revolutionary for what? Because you guys are getting a, a a freaking you're getting Russ's T-shirt with his favorite cologne on it, you little weirdos, as an NFT. <laughs> get the get the well. If you bought it at the bottom, Dranos, there could be money to be made in Saitama because Saitama's been steadily actually increasing. Yeah, there's money to be made, but it depends on where you bought it at, right? If you're at all, if you bought Saitama at the top. I'm done. I'm done. I'm about dunking. Dude, Oreos are good. Uh, yeah, uh, Wagme's game is really good. I just don't promote them much because I have people that pay me to promote them. Um, and I don't think Wagme's doing that right now. And if they do, they ain't paying uh, YouTubers. I mean, it, 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 it's, it's all good. I mean, we, 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 promote, we, we sent this thing to the moon. You know what I mean? We sent Wagme to the moon. But they've been doing really good. It looks good. Like, the game is good. I played it with a bunch of, like, the crypto banter guys and those sorts of things. Um, you know, th- this, it's really good. It's a really good game, and they keep improving it. They have partners with Immutable X and all these other cryptocurrency gaming things. We'll see. This is one I feel comfortable with leaving my money in, you know? So we'll see what happens, but. Um, and they're, they're, you know, they're holding their space all the time. They're not giving up, and that's what you got to see, bro. 
stop people from making money. I'm up, bro. Done. Stop people. Yeah, you're, you're crazy. I think I can agree. I saved a lot of people a ton of money, thousands of dollars in Saitama. And I get messages like literally every other day saying either I'm mad that I didn't sell my Saitama tokens or thank you. You guys are crazy, man. Dude, Oreos are so good, uh, Brad. There's this bar that's next to me that uh, like literally sells Oreos. Not sells Oreos, but it gives you Oreos on the way out, which is fantastic. I mean, who does that, right? Who does that? Um, and yeah, so you've got top meme coins. We have, you know, Volt's there, right? Volt's there. So, you know, meme coin madness is going to come back. So we'll see what happens. Hey, hey, we will see when it happens. But guys, what are my dollar costs averaging most in the bear market? What am I doing most? Blue chips. Matic. Bitcoin, Ethereum, even BNB, even though FUD's rampant. Not really a big XRP guy. I have some. Not a big XRP guy. Cardano, I have some. Haven't bought some in a while. You know, Uniswap token, of course. I love that. You know, so I've been getting in the top plays usually. Um, Kronos, which I stopped dollar cost averaging in really. But, you know. Bro, you kill me with say Tommy. Yeah, how's that going for you, OG? How's that going up? Are you, what are you, are you, are you, are you typing that from a yacht? What are you doing? Do not buy Oreos, bro. You have milk in the vending machine? Wait, buy Oreos and milk? We have... You have Oreos and milk in a vending... Oh, I don't know who, what vending machine company that is, but somebody send that person a freaking... An, an award. You know what I mean? <clears throat> okay, so what is Volt doing, right? That's different. That's separating them from other meme coin products right now. Let's look at the how much they're tweeting, right? Literally, these guys don't go 15 minutes without retweeting. Let's go to someone like SHIB, right? SHIB is already established. It's the biggest meme token, right? It's not even close. No one beats it. They retweeted uh, They they retweeted something on February 10th, six days ago. Before that, they did something on the 4th. What? Why? Let's go to Doge. How active is Doge? They posted something on the 14th, two days ago. Before that... It was a New Year's post. Okay. What about, let's go to Dogelon. These guys are notoriously bad at posting. February 2nd, January 27th. I know Twitter isn't, I, I know Twitter isn't everything, but it's a big part of freaking promotion when it comes to meme coins, guys. You got to be active. You got to be active in the community. You know, what's another top meme coin? Let's go to Floki. I think Floki's a little better. I, I actually don't know. Floki's been pumping. Pretty bad. Let's go to Floki. <clears throat> February 15th. So three hours ago. Let's see. Three hours ago. 40 minutes ago. Okay. So these guys are posting. Let's go. These guys are posting. Let's go. That's that's good. So Floki's out here grinding, right? But when you see it's 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 bad to see like these big guys like taking like weeks off from posting on Twitter, which is arguably the most important uh promotional website when it comes to uh meme coins, right? Well, Maybe Doge doesn't need to tweet, but they should tweet to keep community building, right? Elon Musk is more of an ambassador for Doge than Doge is for Doge. I don't think you can be overactive. I don't think you can. Look at the engagement, right? Look at Volt's engagement. It's crazy. 81K right here. You know, 1700. They just posted it. Posting Bleeds video, right? Partnering with all these projects. Like, this is what you need to do. Look at my video. They're posting, about this. I mean, 8,000 views. That's crazy, right? Jake's tweet, 16,000 views, 20,000 views. Coindesk just wrote an article about them for free. And Coindesk is what? The biggest uh, crypto publication in the space, right? You go to, let's see, where's it at? <clears throat> and if you look at any other thing, which is kind of crazy, we gotta go way back. I wanna see like the views on this because it's kind of insane, right? Coindesk is like super busy. I like I like these guys. If you guys want to like get crypto news, one of the one of my resources is uh, Coindesk. Like literally, you just go to their little website in the morning, and they have a bunch of news ready to rock. And they're pretty like active throughout the day. Where's Volts at? Let's see if I can find Volt because you can see like the numbers compared to uh. If I pass it, let me know. But I don't think I've passed it yet. Just looking at the pictures. We should be getting there very soon. 
And people always say, oh, it's bots. It's like, no, no one's paying for bots every single post. That makes zero sense. We, we, there's botting in the community. Trust me, I know. I know who bots. It's very obvious. There's a lot of YouTubers who bot stuff. We, we know it. A lot of people who buy their followers. We know who they are. They're a little quiet, but we know it. We see it. We're not dumb. You know, I wonder if you get ad revenue for bots. Jeez, they, they, these guys post a lot. I wonder if it's in a tweet or a, a news article, like the link to the tweet. Where's the dang dog? Where's the electricity dot? Wait, is it here? Nope. Dude, Kathy Woods has, has been so wrong on a lot of things. Kathy Woods has been just dead wrong. I cannot find the article. If you Google it, though, you, you could see it. Maybe they have the, uh, let's see, Coindesk. Um, there it is. <clears throat> I'm going to be so mad. Yeah, here it is. See, this is the, uh, this is the uh, Coindesk article. Do they have the link to the tweet? Ah, there. Wait, is it? Where's the link to their tweet? Give us a link to your tweet. Anyways, the, the, the engagement the Volt tweet has compared to the other cryptocurrency products is insane, right? Uh, I have not making truth. No, Chris E. Look at this is the chart of the biggest meme coins by market capitalization. They're right here. These are the ones. It's not me just saying it. It's it's right here. They're ranked. It's number seven. But what I'm saying is. The upside is higher. I'm not just making that up. It, it's right here. And CMC is actually ranking them properly, which is kind of crazy to me. E Elon, Dogecoin is probably not going to be beaten. It can't be. Elon Musk is by its side. But there could be a close second, right? There could be a close third. Yeah, I, th I think the main accounts have to be active, in my opinion. You got to be active. You got to be involved in the community. Matthew with the five dollar donation says the first step to recovering is many. Yeah, we do love meme coins. We do love meme coins. That's so true. <clears throat> John says I spent two thousand dollars on Satam at the top. I knew it was. Uh, I was new to crypto and the same amount is worth $85. I've already written off that money and now just a lottery ticket. I mean, that. how often do we see those comments, right? SHIB doesn't post daily. There are SHIB accounts, but uh, give me a break. Colt is trying to <laughs> Colt is trying to be relevant by buying articles and interviews like Saitama did when it started failing. Sending Telegram Moon Boys to raid posts isn't an organic and gay. Hey, we'll see. Hey, we'll see. Hey, we'll, hey, we will see. Right? We'll see. But look, if you take if you've taken profits, you're already up, baby. You'll never lose. You can never lose. Right? Right? You can never lose. And they didn't pay for this. What's up, Cody? How you doing? At least that's that's what they said allegedly. Who knows, right? What's up, Cody? Like, uh, we saw that. Um, I, I know Watcher Guru takes payments for it. Professor to crypto with the wow, that's like my first twenty dollars. Oh, except Sacco. Thank you so much, Professor, with a twenty dollar donation with the Dream Team in the house. Thank you so much. No comment, just twenty bucks. I appreciate you, Professor. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cliff Inu, damn. Pull up the damn Houdini site and chart. I'll pull up the site. Come on. Uh, you know, come on, come on, professor. You know, we actually got to charge, you know, like actual. If you guys want to do a promo, let's do an AMA or something. Let's do that. You know what I mean? How about this? If you get the uh, Houdini telegram to raid the chat, I'll do it. I'll do it. How about that? We have 190 people in here. Smash the like, guys. Smash the like. What's up, Cobra? How you doing, Jabroni? It will pump for sure, but the only people who are making money are the whales. I made money. I'm not a whale. I put $1,000 in there. Or I put a couple thousand dollars in there. I'm not a whale. I made money. I don't listen to what people say. I take profits. I don't care what other people say about not taking profits. They're not me. 
Like some people say they, they shame you for taking profits. That's not me. I don't care. I take profits. I'm not a whale. But yes, whales are making a killing. Like and in any project. You know? Do you remember Clifford Enu though? That was crazy. How about this? If you can get our chat over 200 concurrent viewers, I will do a I will spend the last five minutes of this doing Houdini swap. Now nah, I'll do it for you since you're a homie. I've been getting I don't know who uh Wow, I look for her Dooney swap on Twitter. It's not popping up. Oh, now you see me? Now you don't. Let me follow her one time. Yeah, come do an AMA or something like that. We'll do like a, some, kind of, some, some sort of promotion. Shut up, Jayhawk. <laughs> Clifford Enu won it. Dude, Clifford Enu is a joke. Dude, I remember Jan Waldo showed his wallet. That dude had 300K in Clifford Enu. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. That was nuts. What is Yon World doing? What is Yon World doing right now? I will do you with I, I will do one with you as an investor. How about that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Too risky. Too risky, man. The heat the heat out, man. The heat's out. How long has Houdini swap been out? How long has this been out? How long have we been out for? Magic Mondays? Oh, okay. That's interesting. I like that name. That's cool. White Sneaker says, Rodney, I have $400 to spare. Where should I put it? I honestly think we're going to go lower. We don't have time for the clear value tax video, guys, but you should watch it. It's right here. I'll put it in the chat. Very good. Talks about um, uh, stock market crash warning. He thinks that the next FOMC, right, that we're going to go down a lot. And I, I could see that. I could see that. I could definitely see that happening because it doesn't seem like – it seems like inflation is getting sticky. Damn. Yeah, well, yeah, you and a lot of people for Professor 2 Crypto. Yon scamming right now? What is Yon doing? What is he promoting? More, uh, what, what was his last one? Like some fucking pyro or some shit? I hope not, Dondo. I hope, I hope not. Yeah, Yon was dating this chick and he made a video. I guess he was dating this chick and um, they went out and uh, some guy just broke into his apartment and um, stole 50K. In a spot like no one knew you where you had. First of all, <clears throat> I'm not saying I don't keep cash in my house, but that much is in insane. And you invite someone into your life, you know, um, you know, like that. Some some chick came in and stole 50k from him. So, and he made a video on it. It's not me putting his business on blast. He made a video about it, and we watched it. Did Yantra rug? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, people talked about that. I, I wouldn't buy that. You know. I'm not saying Yantra's a bad or Yon's a bad guy, but you know, 72k liquidity. Uh, I mean, it's that's liquidity. I wouldn't say to rug. A lot of charts look like this, but it's not good. He got finesse call. No, he did get finesse. Yeah, 100% got finesse. But holistic crypto uh, just quit. I think a lot of people quit, dude. A lot of people just stop making content or like make one video a week now. I get it. I get it. Um, you know, it's crypto's boring, but we can't quit. You know, like even I'll take breaks, but like you gotta, you can't quit. I, I think, but maybe it's not profitable for people to be spending a lot of time making uh, YouTube content. Like I'm actually getting paid uh, pretty decently for it, so I know a lot of people are maybe are not, but a lot of people were and they still quit anyways. Like, I know, I know, a uh, freaking holistic crypto was probably making good money and he quit. Uh, maybe they made too much money and now they don't want to do content anymore. But I don't know. You know. To me, you can't give up, man. You got to do something. We're going to keep going, right? We're going to keep going. He's work, He's doing work for his church. Ah. Well, when you go to Yon World's channel, you know what you're doing. You're aping into some fucking degenerate shit. That's what you're doing on Yon World's channel. That's not a surprise to anybody, right? Is that a surprise to anybody? That's what Yon World does. You have a live stream and he'll ape into some shit and then people will all buy it and then... You know, you know what I mean? What are your top 10 you're holding, including long-term? And then I'm going to get out of here. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, long-term? What do you mean by long-term? We'll say a year at least. Or we'll say near all-time highs. Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, Polygon. Uh, I have some Shib and Doge, but I don't, I don't have a lot. Uh, Uniswap, Avalanche. So that's six, right? So I'll say six blue chips, you could say, and then like some fun. 
I have MetaMonkey AI. I have Volt Inu. I have uh, Wag Me. I have a bunch of shit, guys, but I'll save these top 10. And we'll say fucking, I don't know, we'll say uh, Tonic. So there's, there's 10. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. Going live on Jake's channel. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.